YouTube, it's Kathy, and welcome back to Ask an Introvert, the weekly internet series where you ask an introvert and an introvert answers. This episode is going up later in the day than usual because I've been doing a show all week and I ran out of questions, so when I finally got a question I was like, yay, I can film now! Oh wait, I have to do all these other things first. Today's question reads as follows. I would love to see an episode on introverts creating content for YouTube. For instance, I love your videos, but creating them and putting them out in the public can't be easy. What are some of the challenges you've been facing? Do you get anxiety about creating and releasing them? If so, how do you push past it? I really like this question, not just because the person told me that they love my videos, but because there's a couple of different facets to it. Although I didn't dig deep enough to find specific stats and facts about this, a broad internet search told me that a large majority of the people that put content on YouTube are introverted. And that's really not that hard for me to believe. Creating for YouTube, especially in a vlog type format, is a very introvert friendly thing. You get to do what you want, you get to express the things that are going on in your own head. You don't have anybody around you while you're doing it, so it is a very solitary experience. So the actual creation of the art is actually a very introvert friendly thing, but putting it out in public is less of what somebody might consider an introverted action. Interestingly enough, I haven't had any specific introversion-based fear about creating for YouTube. It's more so fears based on being new in the platform, so things like how to work my camera, what its limitations are, what the limitations of the software I use for editing happen to be, what my limitations are in terms of lighting as well as the fears of never actually finding an audience. So I guess when it comes to being introvert in this capacity, putting all of this energy into creating this thing and then releasing it out in the world, it could seem really, really jarring on both ends of the commenting spectrum. If the comment section is crickets and nobody comments, it's very jarring because you don't know if it's just because people didn't have anything to add or nobody enjoyed your content enough to say anything about it or if nobody's really watched it. Or on the opposite end, if your comment section is full, although I guess technically a comment section is infinite and therefore can't be full. If there are a lot of comments, it can be overstimulating. So you can go back to the comments at any time. You don't have to deal with them as they're coming in. You can turn off notifications, you can choose to check them on your own time, and that's a way as an introvert that I feel very, very comfortable with interacting. For example, when I comment on somebody else's video, I don't necessarily respect a response, and I definitely don't expect it anytime soon. It's kind of a bonus if I get a response anytime soon. I'm like, oh, you happen to be on the internet when I was engaging with your media. Cool. So personally, I feel that the anxiety I had about becoming a creator had very little to do with my introversion and mostly to do with my shyness and my not knowing what I'm doing. Because I, like many people, really don't like to tell people that I have no idea what I'm doing. Fortunately, now I have a little bit of idea of what I'm doing, so it's a lot easier to tell people about when I didn't have any idea what I was doing. I live with this feeling of being up in my head and not wanting anyone to know that I'm unintelligent. I've had similar experiences with not really wanting to put myself out there with my art. For example, I used to write things but never show them to people. And I think it's a gradual process of becoming comfortable with the fact that maybe other people will read or view my work. But that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to immediately find the audience for your writing or for your videos. Sometimes creating and publishing on the internet feels a lot like yelling into a void and you're unsure if you're being heard. And if you think about it, yelling into a void is a very introvert type activity. If you would like to ask an introvert, that would be wonderful because I'm currently out of questions. You can do so in the comment section below or send me a tweet or an email on your way down to the comments. If you hit that subscribe button, that would be very nice of you. You can like and share this as you see fit, and I will hopefully see you next Monday with another Ask an Introvert. Bye!